3810 Ridgecroft. Quiet street. No driveway, street parking. Seems to be plenty of it though. Because most people have driveways actually. Roof looks somewhat new. Definitely need new gutters. Siding looks pretty decent. Need some repairs and maybe uh, power wash and fresh paint. Has this uh, type of shed type thing connected to the back. You can get in there through the basement, but it's locked off, so I couldn't go in. Um, it seems like the roof is caving in a little on it. I think the property line goes to about somewhere right around here. I think I see old fence posts. <clears throat> Nice size backyard. Back porch probably needs to be rebuilt. Maybe, yeah, maybe just repaired, but it's not very big anyways. Foundation looks good from what I can see. Front porch seems to be on a bit of a slant, but not too bad. Maybe just some support added. I don't think it needs to be rebuilt. Front steps would probably be rebuilt though. Inside we go. Stairs to the right. Kitchen straight back. They go double doors into the living area. As you see, some drywall and paneling. That scares me a little bit. It's like coming out of the wall about four inches. I think it's just the drywall. I don't know what would cause it to do that. Into the kitchen. Not very big. Not teeny though. Back here is like a little mudroom type area. Storage in the back, or like a pantry, like a walk-in pantry. Back door that goes to that porch. Bathroom behind the kitchen. Seems to be some damage in here. <clears throat> this is really the only bad damage like come that looks like water damage. In the bathroom though kind of makes sense. Go down to the basement next. Side entrance. <clears throat> These stairs are all types of uneven. 
Only these bottom three really, they are not, they're all right up there. Right here, gas set up. Sump pump. Not functioning, it doesn't look like, but set up. Ceilings are at 6'8 at the joist. The beam is down at 6 foot though. Sorry, I thought I heard people upstairs. I got scared for a second. These look like makeshift support beams that are kind of sketchy. Washer, dryer, slop sink area. 100 amp box. Over here, more room. Plumbing looks like it was galvanized only down here though. Everywhere else from here on is either PVC or copper. A little back room. And that's the door to the shed that's out back, but it's uh, <clears throat> screwed tight shut. Plywood and whatnot. Alright. There is some water on the floor down here, but not much. Alright. Upstairs we go. Drywall to me. Alright. First bedroom. Kind of weird spots in the ceiling. It might just be from aging now. I don't think it's water damage. Big walk in. Windows don't look too bad. I don't know if they can be reused. Bathroom. Plumbing looks good under that sink. A little bit of storage. And the last bedroom. The closet as well.